through a week of controversy over this, do you still have confidence in the police chief? I have every confidence in Police Chief Jerry Williams and the job she's doing. A day after a heated city council meeting, as you heard there, Phoenix's city manager is backing Police Chief Jerry Williams and the way she's handling the recent accusations of police brutality. And it's important to note, yeah. he is the one person with the power to hire or fire the police chief. Yeah, a lot of folks come here from back east. They're used to the mayor making those decisions. Mm -hmm. It is a city manager led government here. Our political editor, Dennis Welch, joining us. You spoke with Ed Zerker. Yeah, we spoke with uh, the city manager, but we also spoke today with a councilman who is newly elected who is wanting some big changes in the way that the city investigates police misconduct. So he believes that the trust between the cops and the community is completely broken right now. City manager, you have failed to hold your chief of police accountable. Protesters Jerry blasted Williams. Ed Zerker last night, but the city manager is standing by his police chief, Jerry Williams. I think Chief Williams is doing a good, a good job. I hired her in 2016. I have more confidence in her today than I did when I hired her. The department ended 2018 on an ominous note as it broke a record for police shootings. And this month, some officers were pulled off the streets for making racist posts and jokes about police brutality on Facebook. And they are now dealing with the public anger over a video that shows cops drawing their guns on a family accused of shoplifting. You've been through a number of police chiefs. It seems like this, uh, the, you know, the, the gap between community trust and police has only widened uh, since then. Um, can you care to speak to that? I don't agree with that assessment. The relationship between the community I know and the police department is as broken as I've ever seen it. I think if the city management and the city council cannot see that division and, and how the trust has been broken, it's been part of the problem. Civil rights activist turned city councilman Carlos Garcia is demanding the creation of a strong committee to investigate allegations of police wrongdoing. Garcia says he wants citizens and victims of police brutality to sit on this committee. He also wants to grant this panel subpoena power, giving it more authority to look into police misconduct than the city manager and the council. I think that this committee is the beginning to shifting the culture of violence from this police department. We ran on the issue of police accountability and we hope our office has the opportunity uh, to, to that this implementation goes well and that we stop the murdering of people in the streets. Now, a lot of people are doubtful that uh, Mr. Garcia will get that subpoena power for this committee. And I also asked him when we can expect to see this committee all come together. And he was not sure about a timeline right now. What kind of additional oversight does Garcia want? Well, I mean, the additional stuff is he definitely wants this committee to get formed first and foremost. But this is a reaction uh, to other promises that they maintain were broken in the past. Uh, they point to, uh, you know, 2015, 2016, that there were some steps that were supposed to be taken as a as well as putting together another oversight committee at the time. They didn't follow through on that. They really want to make sure that this time the city does follow through with that and follows through on their promises. Ed Zerker has been a, here a while. He's from Kansas originally, very even keel emotionally. Mm -hmm. Does he feel he can get along with these new council members? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, you, you know, every new council that comes in right now, he has a different you know, kind of an attitude, a, you know, a different uh, perspective on things. You've got some people like Mr. Garcia who've got some very different ideas right here. And you heard Mr. Garcia um, right there saying like, look, if you're not recognizing that the community here doesn't trust police, at least parts of the community here in Phoenix doesn't trust police, that maybe they're part of the problem. So we're going to have to see how that plays out as we move forward in the aftermath of all of this. All right, Dennis Welch, our political editor. Thanks.